Redneck 007. On the YouTube. Uh, here at my favorite place to eat. Here in the pollution capital of uh, all 50 states. Steak and ribs. A little bit of creatine, a lot of protein, <laughs> slaw, <laughs> some like fried onion slices, they're really good, mashed taters, they're awesome. <laughs> Y'all know I don't cook. Look, 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 look. That smells so good. It's delicious. You just got tired of the face. No, I'm not on the phone. I'm making a video. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> they just took a tire to the face. But I get like, bounced off. Oh, that's pretty bad. Tire to the face. Yeah, I'm not pathetic. I had to. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm Dude's sorry. This tire would come up over the front of his car, hit him right in the head, knock his head back. I could just smell the steak, and I told him, I was like, he's, he's like, he got steak and ribs. Oh yeah. It smells good. I'm I get this all the time. I don't I cook. Ribs you don't cook. Damn. No. Oh, I cook. <laughs> I got the burns on my arms. There you go. Yeah, yeah she's from some chicken. <laughs> yeah, this is from fried chicken, and this is from oh, biscuits. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. This one wasn't alcohol. This, 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 this one might have been a little bit. One thing that I can't, I can't get is mashed potatoes. Never open up your restaurant. I can't. Well, I had somebody give me the recipe, and I think maybe now I might be able to. Because you're gonna have to use it. Yeah. Everybody. I just mashed it up. I put my hair up. Look at these ribs, people. Look at there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Y'all know it's so good. The steak's perfect. Yeah, steak's, steak's always great. Yeah. It's they, did, they, did, they cook it exactly like you want it. Mm -hmm. That's hard. I'll give them my... I don't know if they still have it. They have that uh, butcher's reserve for a while. Here. Oh, right, yeah. Damn good steak. Definitely. It's mm. 31 now. It's time. Yeah, people, here at your local neighborhood bar and grill. Come in and have the coldest beer in town. Y'all know I drink PBR is what I grew up on. I know. Check his, check his new shirt out. Brown up shirts love that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, man. See, best people in Kingsport. We're not all the money, Liz. That's a good thing. I didn't wear the hat tonight. I got the PBR hat, too. Heck, yeah, man. That's all right. I like it. Hey, yeah. he's barking. <coughs> he, he called me one night. Yeah. It's probably about a year, year and a half ago. Right. He said, uh, oh, yeah. PBR just dropped off a bunch of shit. Like, he said it with the beer. He said, I got a t-shirt and a hat down here. I said, what do you want for it? Oh, yeah. He said, you come down here right now and give me 10 bucks. They're both yours. I'll throw out the shirt. And <laughs> hey, I like it. Heck, yeah. Yeah, I buy most of my clothes either from rednecknationgear.com. Yeah. Rednecknation.com. Yeah. Who knew? I know, right? <laughs> or Article 15 clothing or Ranger Up, which is both owned by veterans. Yeah. Because I'm a veteran. I support That's that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I support Redneck Nation gear, too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go to Redneck Nation, get you some gear. Tell them Redneck 007 sent you. Hey. <laughs> Now, you ain't going to save no money, but go watch Hillbilly Zinc, and then you save you some money. There you go. Get her done. Yeah, get her done. Oh, I'm out. Support our troops. Better.
If you don't like it, then fucking leave it. <laughs> Redneck 007 on YouTube, y'all. Y'all know how I do it. Y'all know I don't cook, so I'll come down here for a PBR and some steak and ribs. So, okay. Ooh, I lost my balance. When I say one PBR, hey, I can't help it. If I was a veteran and uh, people want to buy me a damn beer, round hip shot, next thing you know, I'm here. I just want to show y'all something. That's how we do it in East Tennessee right there. That's how we do it. I just met a feller. He's down here working. He's from Charleston, South Carolina. Swiss back player you're ever meeting in your life. He's like, tell me, uh, he could have went anywhere, but God brought him here to Applebee's and sat right next to me. And one thing led to another, and we got in conversation. Let me get away from this damn music. He'll be, he'll be, that's what I want to hear. Anyway. Probably get a copyright. Some that hipster shit. Nah, that's not hipster shit. That's older, but anyway. Sappy. We'll just call it Sappy. How about that? I'm gonna go in here and finish my PBR that the man bought me. <laughs> it's gotta be my last one. Yep, a little glossy. But believe it or not, I don't get pulled over in my town. I really don't. Um uh, yeah, watch me say that name. Bam! Nah, I'm just kidding. I doubt that'll happen. But, um, you know what? I'm blessed, people. I really am. And my brother in Vietnam, he needs me more than I need to be here. So, check out my adventures soon to come from this hillbilly patriot, this redneck patriot, Check out RedneckNationGear.com. I just I just believe in everything that, that they're about. I mean, and people, we don't unite together. All race, all creed, all religion. Believe it or not, I got Muslim in my family. In my blood family on my mother's side. My mom's oldest sister, my oldest aunt, married an Arab from United Arab Emirates. I have two cousins that were born in the United States or United Arab Emirates. They live in the U.S. now. Sometimes they go to Korea. Sometimes, well, one of them just had a baby, so he probably won't be going nowhere. But, uh, I quit smoking these damn cigarettes. I'm going to go in here. Matter of fact, I'll take you in here with me. Y'all know how I do it. Hi, Tammy. I'll come visit you in Florida when I come down there to Redneck Nation. Everybody knows I walk around. You ever heard of YouTube? Believe it or not, I've got a YouTube channel, brother. <laughs> so... Come on down to your neighborhood bar and grill here at Applebee's. Enjoy the coldest beer there is in town and the friendliest people here in town. <laughs> Redneck 007, I'm signing out. Y'all know how I do it. Redneck 007. I know, I said I was going to leave after one more beer, and uh, I'm actually fixing to. This time, for real. This time, I actually probably will leave. But I'm telling you. No, I done met all kinds. I done met all kinds. Great individuals. Hell. The best that uh, Tennessee can uh, handle this thing. up behind me. Probably can't hear a word I'm saying. That's all right. That's all right. You don't have to worry. Just read my lips. <laughs> uh, my man Skeet here. 
They bought me another beer. <laughs> then I went out and smoked a cigarette. My man Jose came out there. Yeah, we burnt one together. Talk about everything under the sun. Uh oh. I'm a little jacked up there. There we go. Bray was all messed up. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> so I told everybody that, uh, you know, I was fixing to leave, but, you know. I ain't left yet. Hell, I enjoy the company too much. Because when I get home, of course, I'm going to still got to go to the gym tonight. But when I'm all alone, that's when the thoughts start coming in. The memories, the flashbacks, the regrets. Well, I do have regrets. And if anybody's been to war say they don't have any regrets, they didn't do enough. But they didn't do shit. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. So, I'll see y'all at the gym later. I'm going to sign out for right now. But uh, everybody who watches me and continues watching me, y'all have my utmost respect, admiration, and appreciation. Thank you all, and uh, God bless all that good stuff. Redneck 007, y'all know how I do it. And I always remember, if you're going to call me, don't call me late for last call. I'm out of here. <laughs>